your servants to whom this child has come. Be with the Nisei family. Be their stay. Be their strength. Be their shield. Grant that they might be touched by your spirit and hear your voice. Lighten their darkness and bring them out of all their distress. Indeed, O oh God, touch all our hearts with your love in this hour. For the springs of compassion may flow. Grant us grace to help and comfort those who find themselves desolate. And lead us with them in the path of quietness and hope. Through our Lord Jesus, we pray. Amen. ໃນຕົນການໃນໃນທີ່ມາໄພຫມួយໃຄມີທົນາຊ្នាំ <laughs> He was himself, that unique characteristic that was one we all truly admire him for. He's a bridge that connected the generation that is immigrated to America and the generation that's born in America. Born here in the great state of United States of America, Nathan traveled to Cambodia many times. Each time, he always has a way of connecting with the people and help those whom were less fortunate. He can't speak a lick of mine, yet he has a way of reaching people's hearts and all the way end with making them smile. In 2009, when we were sitting in school in Cambodia, he chatted with a group of students for over 15 minutes just by nodding his head and a few hand gestures and a random noise. That day, he taught me the communication is not just about talking, but by listening, Nathan got his message across and keep the students engaged. I think he does this because he loves seeing the excitement expression on their face when they talk about their glory days. Unfortunately, Nathan will never be able to share his glory day with the next generation. But again, he will not feel the disappointment of growing old and people ignoring him, and the death of a loved one. Nathan embraced every ethnicity and lifestyle. His love is unbiased, and he lives his life with unbridled passions. He's spontaneous and loves doing random act of kindness because he doesn't like to waste his time being a loafer or a bum. He taught me to forgive and never jump into conclusion about others. He taught me to never take things too serious and have fun with people who do. He could never do anything halfway and I am convinced he never knew anything exists between zero and 100%. He jumped into love with both feet and express and expect the same in return. The human heart is like a fickle flame. It either burns bright and with passion or burn hot with anger. It can weather with despair it can be brought back with some help. It can prove, provide warmth to those closest, but it also can bring destruction. But no flame deserves to be stomped out, no ignore, left alone to die alone. The human heart is like a fickle flame. Our light have gone out without so much a flicker, and all we have left is a precious memory of how bright it burned and warmth it gave us. Nathan died suddenly, and unexpectedly, in the early hour morning of 30th December 2013, he is greatly missed by everyone who knew and loved him. Nathan is a hero. He gave so much love to all people around him and served his country. He doesn't hide behind a mask or wear a cape. He wore a uniform and stand amongst heroes.
the United States Thank accept you. this flag yes. Yes. as a symbol of appreciation for your loved one's faithful and honorable service. I'm very sorry for your loss. It was our honor. Hey. 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 Hey.